Hello, this is CG Professor. Today, we are going to make this abstract coral object in Blender. Let's get into Blender and delete the default cube. Go to Edit, Preferences. In Add-on search for Extra Mesh Object and check it. Now add Torus Object. Torus Knot. Press 1 on numpad and rotate the object 90 degrees in x-axis. Now go into modifiers and add a simple deform modifier and set its angle to 360. Then add a smooth modifier. Then add a subdivision modifier and set it to 4. If your PC can't handle it in viewport. Decrease levels in viewport to 2. Now, make sure you have a camera in your scene and press, Ctrl, Alt and Numpad 0 to snap camera to view. We are going to use cycles. Let's go into rendered view and decrease the max samples to something like 128. Go into color management and change it to very high contrast. Let's create a plane and quickly create a backdrop for our scene. Go into world settings and change world color to black. Select the camera and go into camera settings. Increase Passeportout to 1. I am going to scale up the light a bit and increase its strength for better view. Press R and rotate the object as your likings. Now, it's shading time. Create a new material. Add displacement node and connect it to displacement. Go into material settings, in surface change displacement to displacement and bump. Decrease specular to 0 and roughness to 1. Increase subsurface to 1 also. Create Voronoi Texture and Connect Color to Height. Create Wave Texture and Connect Color to Vector. Change Wave Texture Scale to 2 and Distortion to 8. Press Ctrl T. Change sub-surf color to a light pink. Change displacement scale to 0.4, mid-level to 0. Connect object of texture coordinate to mapping. Now. Create a sphere. Move it aside for better view. Go into edit mode and subdivide it 3 times and smoothness to 1. Shade it smooth. Push it back so you can't see it in the scene. We are going to use it for particles. Now, create a particle system for the object. Select hair, increase number to your liking. Select render as object and select the sphere we created. Go into Modifiers tab and make sure your particle system is at the top of the list. Increase the scale randomness to 1 and scale to 0.04. Play with C till you get your desired results. If you want to change the placement of the spheres, go into Edit Mode of Sphere and select it, and press G to move around. Now, create new material for sphere. Increase subsurface to 1. Create a color ramp and object into node. Connect random to factor. Connect color ramp to subsurface color. Change color ramp mode to constant and select some random colors.
set specular to 0.5 and roughness to 1. Now let's set up the lights and create some mood. As I am setting these lights, I want to ask you guys if you want me on social media. If yes. Tell me in comments, you can mention which social media app do you prefer more. I'll be creating one on that. Create some point lights and color them and put them around the object. Please consider liking the video and subscribing for more videos like this. I have so many tutorials planned ahead. After setting up the lights you can render the image right away or increase the subdivisions to have more details in your object. And that's it. Thanks for watching and come back for more.